<laughs> look at it! Look at it! <laughs> it worked! Many of you already know, I kind of have a coffee addiction and you know, I, it's fine. Welcome back to another episode of Foodie Friday here where we make anime and video game food come to life. But the other day I stumbled upon coffee jelly and yes for my boy binging with Babish and I thought to myself, how do we make it better? I found this and I thought, what would Alice do? The first thing we're gonna do is actually make our very own cold brew coffee. To do this, I use about 10 tablespoons of fresh ground coffee, put it into our container, secure it with the lid that it came with and just fill it up with water. Lucian did not like the water. I like to let my cold brew sit for at least 24 hours. This is going to unlock a lot of those really nice flavors in that coffee. And so it doesn't look like this. We're gonna be using this and then we'll just, we'll just drink the other stuff later. That's, we'll worry about that later. The next step we're gonna do is actually making our coffee jelly. To do this, we're gonna bloom one pack of gelatin with our warm water. Give this a little bit of a whirl and then we're gonna go ahead and start heating up our cold brew coffee. Add your bloom gelatin and heat this up just to dissolve your gelatin and fear your masters. Now, while this thing is coming up to a boil, this is your opportunity to sweeten it however you want. Add sugar or honey or whatever else the case is. I like my coffee black, so that way we can add some sweetened cream to it later. After your gelatin is fully dissolved in your cold brew, add it to another measuring cup and get ready to start pouring this into your silicone mold. Be careful not to overfill your mold. You want to make sure you're just to the top of each mold, filling as needed, and then we're going to pop these into the fridge to sit for about six hours. With our leftover cold brew gelatin, we're going to put this into another container to also set up. Now the coffee jelly is the easy part. Now comes the fun part. Do you guys remember my reverse spherification video? Yeah, we're going back. To start making my flavored liquid, I'm gonna use about three parts sweetened condensed milk to one part heavy cream. I'm gonna add 1% calcium lactate and this is going to help create our spheres. We're gonna blend this together for about 30 seconds just to make sure all that calcium lactate is incorporated. If you want a full breakdown of this technique, check out my reverse spherification video in the tags above. Next, we're gonna make our sodium alginate solution, which is basically seaweed water. You're gonna need 100% liquid to 2% sodium alginate. So this just means if you're using 100 grams of water, you're gonna need two grams of sodium alginate. Blend this thing together and it's gonna get super cloudy and we're gonna let it sit for a few hours until it's clear again. Next, I'm actually just going to make a nice flavored whipped cream. This one is basically gonna be half part heavy cream, half part sweetened condensed milk. Whisk it together until it's a little frothy and we're good to go. Now that our first batch of coffee jelly is set, we're gonna take a small knife to this and cut out little gorgeous cubes. Find yourself a fancy ice cream glass just like this one or use whatever glass you feel like using. Start layering your coffee jelly with that fresh cream we just did and indulge, seriously. This is our first take. I can't wait for the second one. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, it's so good. That coffee with that sweet and condensed whipped cream milk thing we made. Mother of God. Nope. We have so much more to try. That's delicious. Probably gonna finish it. Now to make those reverse spheres. So now for frozen reverse spheres, you will need a mold like this. If you wanna pick one up, check the links in the description below. We're gonna pour these until they're full and let them set up in the freezer. I made a second calcium lactate solution with our heavy cream and sweetened cream just as a backup. When you're trying new things like this with reverse spherification or really anything in life, a lot of trial and error and that's kind of what's happening right now. We tried to vacuum seal our initial cream mixture just to remove any air pockets to help it sink in the alginate mixture but it's still not dense and heavy enough so I'm planning on just using those spheres that we froze earlier in addition to trying out some of this right now. Now for our frozen reverse spheres, we're gonna remove them from the mold with a spoon and drop them into our alginate solution. We're gonna let these hang out for about two to three minutes and then drop them into really clean, fresh water, remove them from the water and let them sit. I also made a second round of spheres. This is with that backup solution we had made without freezing it. And now uh, for the moment of truth, it should just taste like our cream mixture. That's fun. Now we're gonna go ahead and plate up our second coffee jelly and this is going to be with our cream spheres. So after much trial and error, here's round two. Now we still have one final phase before we're done experimenting. Here, more coffee for the day. Mm -hmm. But I need to show you something. Once you break that membrane, all of that cream opens up. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, are you videoing? Yeah, this is all going in that video. <laughs> Now that the wife is extremely happy, we're gonna try to get these out of our jello molds. We're gonna try real hard. Oh God. 
Well, that didn't work. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know if this is gonna work. Save your scraps of coffee, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to freeze these jello molds. After pulling them from the freezer, they did actually release from the molds. After placing them on a plate, I did fill some of them with some leftover cream, and I'm gonna let these try to thaw out in the refrigerator. And unfortunately, that failed pretty badly. So you know what? I made a second batch, and I doubled the amount of gelatin in here to try to help it set up. Cross your fingers, and hope for the best. Oh! <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh, that's exciting. As exciting as the first one was, the others just straight up failed. Unfortunately, of the four that we had made on that second round, only really like one survived intact and we have this little kind of jank guy over here. We're gonna finish doing this and then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. This was a massive amount of effort. It's been three days. There's been a ton of trial and error, but this came out pretty much exactly like how I wanted it to. Look at that jiggle. So now there's really only one thing to do, and that's to break this thing open and see what it looks like on the inside. I mean, even like this on the plate, I think it's rather beautiful. I mean, it looks really cool. Tastes like coffee jelly with sweet cream. <laughs> it took three days to make. Let me know if you guys like this kind of experiment or if you've ever had anything like this before. It could have just been, have you ever had coffee jelly? My name is Chef PK here on Foodie Friday, the show where we bring anime and video game food to life. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food because this, this took a while and I was playing way too much. That was a lot of cold brew.